we're going to send it to NBA Deputy Commissioner Mark Tatum to kick us off. With the 31st pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Indiana Pacers select Andrew Nemhard from Aurora, Ontario and Gonzaga University. Another zag off the board, Jay. Well, Andrew. With the 32nd pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Orlando Magic select Caleb Houston from Mississauga, Ontario and the University of Michigan. Mm. Another Canadian, Jay. What stands out to you about his game? Well, another guy with... Uh, with the 33rd pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Toronto Raptors select Christian Coloco from Douala, Cameroon and the University of Arizona. Christian Coloco. With the 34th pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Oklahoma City Thunder select Jalen Williams from the University of Arkansas. Jalen Williams. With the 35th pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Los Angeles Lakers select Max Christie from Michigan State University. And he's in the stands, hugging his family. He's the first McDonald's All-American to commit to Michigan State since Jared Jackson Jr. in 2017. Jay, what makes him so special? Another value pick. He's a wiry shooting guard that, that operates very well off screens. He's got a really good shooting stroke. Uh, he only shot 32%. With a 36th pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Portland Trail Blazers select Gabriele Procida from Como, Italy. Mm. With the 37th pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Sacramento Kings select Jaden Hardy from the NBA G League's Team Ignite. It's time. It's about time. And you know what? A lot of teams are going to regret not picking him and passing up on this young man. I'm telling you, he is a special talent, and he is, he is, his game is made for the NBA. Watch what I tell you, Malika. Jaden Ivey. Excuse me, Jaden Hardy. Jaden Ivey, we just heard from Jaden Hardy, the last man. With the 38th pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Kennedy Chandler from the University of Tennessee. <coughs> Kennedy Chandler, he had a whopping 74 steals, the third most by an SEC freshman since 92, Jay. Yeah, he led Tennessee in scoring assists, and you mentioned it in steals. He was the SEC tournament MVP. You know, he's small, he's only six feet tall, but he's got long arms, gets a lot of deflections. Malika, part of the Senegal national team, only uh, 20 years old, played 60 games at, a, at the high level of the ACB in Spain, uh, rim run, running, lob catcher, um, a athletic big here. Played against Team USA last year at the FIBA U19s. That's a team that had Chet Holmgren, Jaden Ivey, Johnny Davis, Peyton Watson, four first round picks and went for 20 and 12 in that game. With the 40th pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Bryce McGowans from the University of Nebraska. And he is actually on his way to Charlotte not the Minnesota Timberwolves. You can see him in the stands, getting the news on the phone. What makes him so special, Jay? Well, he's a high scorer. Uh, he's, a, he's a guard forward hybrid. He's athletic, very talented. Averaged about 17 points per game and five rebounds uh, for Fred Hoiberg at Nebraska. And he's got a, a ton of moves and he can make high difficulty shots. You know, he, he only shot 20. With the 41st pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the New Orleans Pelicans select EJ Liddell from The Ohio State University. <laughs> EJ Liddell. With the 42nd pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the New York Knicks select Trevor Keels from Duke University. So Jay, there you go. Trevor Keel to Los Angeles. Bobby, what do you think? Another upside pick for a Clipper team that's been known for focusing on player development here. 20 years old, athletic, 6'11", 220 pounds. 
Nine points, six rebounds here. I think you're probably looking at, when we're getting this part of the draft right now, we're looking at players that are likely going to be tagged with a two-way contract and just focus on development and then down the road as a foundational piece, you know, for the future. Ryan Rollins was also picked while we were away. That 44 pick is actually headed to the Warriors, according to our Adrian Wojnarowski, Jay. I love this pick. Ryan Rollins out of Toledo, 6'4", really long arms. He's got a 6'10 wingspan. He's a skilled combo guard that I think is a sleeper in this second round. Absolutely. Size, length, handles it, and a terrific pick and roll scorer. A mid-range marksman that shoots 80% from the free throw line, rebounds his position, and he's a really active defender. This is a, a terrific pick in the second round. Well, now the Charlotte Hornets are on the clock. The pick is in, so let's send it back to Deputy Commissioner Mark Tatum once again. With the 45th pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Hornets select Josh Minot from the University of Memphis. Josh Minot, the number 70 overall recruit in the 2021 ESPN 100. With the 46 pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Ismael Komagate from Paris. So this pick was headed to Portland, but now it is headed to the With the 48th pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Kendall Brown from Baylor University. Kendall Brown out of Baylor, the freshman. He's one of six Big 12 players with 300 points, 150 rebounds, and 60 assists last season, Jay. High-flying athlete, terrific in transition, explosive athleticism, you know, plays above the rim, 78% uh, actually around the rim. He can hit the three points. While we were away, Matteo Spaniolo was drafted. Bobby Marks, what do you got? Malika, this is a Tim Connolly special here, the new... Timberwolves uh, GM here. Spaniola is one of five teenagers this year to average 25 minutes or more at high level ball over in, in Europe. 44% from the field here. Four games of five assists more. So this is a likely stash. Mm -hmm. Another one of these players that you will probably see two or three years from now. Well, and now the Golden State Warriors. Thank and with you. the 51st pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors select Tyrese Martin from the University of Connecticut. Tyrese Martin drafted by the Golden State Warriors, but according break, they selected Carlo Matkovich. Bobby, what do you like about him? Well, Malika, you mentioned Nikola Jovic. He was actually teammates of him at Megan Mozart over in, in Serbia. 11 points, 6.1 uh, rebounds, a lot of energy off the bounce there. As you can see, this is going to be a stash pick because of the Pelicans roster issues with their, uh, with their team. With the 53rd pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Boston Celtics select J.D. Davison from the University of Alabama. Mm. A freshman guard. Yannick Zosa, he was drafted. Bobby, what can you tell us? Only 18 years old from the Republic of Congo, an elite level shot blocker, rim runner here. Uh, average a disappointing 10.4 minutes per game last year. It's another one of these players, Malika, that we are probably not going to see for a few years. This is a stash pick based on his age and uh, in his development. Bobby, thank you so much. We saw more young men get drafted into the NBA. Guy Santos, Bobby, what can you tell us? Yeah, Brazilian player. He's got a big buyout, Malika. 6'8", 210, seven-foot wingspan. This is another one of those stash players overseas. Well, then there's also Luke Travers, the guard out of Australia, Bobby. Played for Perth, averaged around uh, seven points per game last year. 20-year-old, 6'7", 210 wing. With the 57th pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Portland Trailblazers select Jabari Walker from the University of Colorado. Jabari Walker. With the 58th pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Indiana Pacers select Hugo Besson from Bondol, France. 
Hugo Besson. He has waited the entire night. He is here to hear his name called, Bobby Marks. Yeah, I thought he actually would have gone a little bit early. He played in the Chicago pre-draft, a 6'6", 180-pound guard. Fearless, as you can see, attacking the rim here. Played on the same team as Osman Jang. Um, French player, 21 years of age. A little bit under the radar passer. Six games of four-plus assists.